One thing that your students may well want to do once they get started with Pro Tools is learn how to do multi-track recording with Pro Tools. And this is where you start with one track and then you gradually add more and more tracks until you have a big song going. So here's an example of a multi-track song and you'll see there's a lot going on, quite a few tracks in the song. This song most likely started with a drum track and I grabbed some drum loops from the internet or I found some or I might even have played some in. So these two tracks are probably drum tracks. And then I gradually added more tracks to the song and built the whole thing up. In fact, you can actually see the names of the tracks there. There's a string track and there's some kind of eighth note pattern, a piano track and a Hammond track and so forth. So there's a lot going on. Take a look at the mix window and you'll see how many tracks there are. And this, in fact, is exactly how many songs are done. And it's a great skill for kids to learn how to mix. And mixing is um, a very fine art. It's to do with moving the faders up and down, of course. But it's also to do with things like EQ. And we talked a little bit about things like EQ before. And just a reminder, if you ever need to change or improve the sonic quality of audio, you're probably going to do it from inside this area of the mix window. So for example, if I'm playing this track, let's play a little bit of the eighth note pattern. Let's solo it and start playing and we'll have a listen to what's going on here. So that's obviously a guitar pattern. Let's open up the mix window. Let's find the track. There it is, that's the track we're soloing at the moment. And we might want to do something with that. We could add EQ or we could add some reverb to it. Let's go and add some reverb. And you can hear immediately what happened when I did that. Let's choose a smaller reverb. So we've got various choices there of reverb. We might be happy with the reverb and now we might want to do something with the EQ. So let's open up an EQ, real simple EQ here. A one band EQ, we'll just start playing around with this. And you can hear all the difference that we can make there. So let's say we were happy with that. Let's now unsolo it and you'll hear the whole track. So as you can imagine, there's a whole bunch of work to do to make this song sound great, and that's why people spend time mixing, and they run audio engineering courses. Because really, if you think about it right now, we're treating Pro Tools much more like a science topic than we are um, as an artistic topic alone. So a great task there to learn to mix. And then how do you uh, get a finished product? Just go File, Bounce to Disk, and that will render the whole song that you've just created as a stereo file and there are various choices that you can choose there.